Hi Scorpio, this is Jackie Tomlin. This is your general reading. This is for the week of November 8th, 2021. Thank you guys for stopping by. And as always, if you're seeking a psychic reading and it's JackieTomlin.com, you will find a link to those readings below this video. This is definitely a week of getting things under control, new doors opening, good luck and abundance, and pretty much in a summary, it's a week of getting what you want. New opportunities. A lot of good luck and a lot of you moving forward. Now, for some of you, an Aquarius or a Gemini may or may not resonate for you. Um, I'm also seeing some type of court date. I think this has to do with money. So, settlement, something like that. Uh, definitely going into your favor. Doesn't necessarily have to be the week of the 8th, but it did pop out. So... Scorpio, this is your week of November 8th, 2021. First card up, Temperance, Sagittarius Energy. Temperance tells me that you have finally embraced that when you do the same thing, you get the same result. And because of that, you're about to change things up, and that's going to bring you a more positive result. Ten of Cups, the happily ever after. This is the family card, the relationship card. Tensity and the love life. Now, if I've got Scorpios that are coupled, this is ascending to another level, like living together, commitments, engagements, things of that nature. And if you're single, you're actually headed towards a relationship. On the Eight of Pentacles, this is an abundance card. This is money in addition to. Now, this could be a side job. This could be the sale of an item side hustle something you've got going on there but it's it's definitely something in addition to your regular pay on the six of wands total victory complete success surrounded by people that you're not normally surrounded by the second time sagittarius is appearing here this is a messenger card that comes in the center of your reading and the message is be warned of self-imposed restrictions Holding yourself back. And I've got two eights here together, which means abundance. So there's no reason for you guys to hold yourself back, but you're like talking yourself out of something. I have the two of cups going back to the intensity and the love life. This could indicate date night that applies to my singles as well as my couples. And we have the world on a major arcana as in the world is your oyster. And moving forward, we have the Three of Wands. Now, the Three of Wands says, you guys have learned a lesson in the past. And because of that, uh, you're waiting for your ship to come in. And honestly, it's right around the corner. So let's go further with this reading. And I'll start up top with that Temperance card. What we have with the Temperance. We have the Hangman. And this tells me that you may be feeling stuck. You may be feeling like you're not moving forward or not moving backwards. Just no movement around you. That's not the case here, Scorpio. It's asking you to be still because when you're still, you get the confirmation and the clarity that you need. Okay, moving forward, we have the Ten of Cups. And the Ten of Cups shows the Ten of Swords. There's someone there in the past that has done you wrong. And because of that, you're a little bit leery. Now, two tens together shows a new beginning. And the new beginning is, uh, is the beginning stages of a new beginning. But there's some energy there that you need to let go of or kind of kick the door shut on because it's preventing another door from opening. On the Eight of Pentacles, we have the Four of Swords. Four of Swords comes in with wise financial decisions, uh, wise investments. And this also says that... Um, how do you say, keep some things to yourself. Don't tell everything you know, okay? On the Six of Wands, we have the world. Again, the world is your oyster, appearing twice. Very significant, okay? And on that messenger card, your next message is, wow, beautiful. You're on the right path. This says that no matter how crazy or scattered that energy gets, to tap deep into your intuition, trust where you're being led because it does indicate you're on the right path. On the Eight of Swords, we have 
the two of pentacles if you guys are juggling financially please know it's temporary i can't say that the money is going to be this current week of november 8th but there will be news that the money is forthcoming on the two of cups there it is again the ten of cups the happily ever after Chief points is driving home the happily ever after and the world is your oyster you're definitely strong and love this week and on that world card, there is the relationship card. Now, you know, I will tell you if you're single that you're either looking for the four of wands or the ten of cups. Well, you've got the four of wands and the ten of cups twice. You're definitely headed to a relationship. If you are single, you won't be single much longer. If you are in a relationship, you are sending to another level. On the three of wands, we have the page of cups. Unexpected offer. Uh, this could be an offer of assistance for some of you. It could be an offer of love. And a Pisces may or may not resonate here. And in the center bonus, you have the Seven of Wands. That wonderful energy. That is uh, the journey inward. Taking care of you. Accomplishing your goals. Checking things off your to-do list. Just wonderful energy. Scorpio, enjoy your week. JackieTomlin.com for psychic readings. And I'll see you soon. Bye.